Senator from Nebraska. Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent to speak up for up to three minutes. Without objection. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, in a couple minutes, the Senate will vote on my CRA resolution to overturn the Biden administration's rule establishing stricter emission standards for heavy-duty vehicles. My Republican colleagues have joined me in this effort, and Senator Manchin announced today that he's co-sponsoring my legislation. I hope more of my Democratic colleagues will join us as well. The EPA rule is an aggressive mandate on truckers that would force them to purchase new, expensive equipment, burdening their work and livelihoods. The EPA's own economic analysis projects that the costs associated with the new regulation could reach up to $55 billion from 2027 to 2045. $55 billion. During this administration, inflation has hit record highs. Additional inflationary burdens on the trucking industry will mean that any product transported by trucks, whether it's food, clothing, or other commodities, each one of those pro products will cost more. Smaller, more affordable trucking businesses will close up shops, and the ones that can afford higher prices, they're going to raise their rates. This means that consumers will be paying more money to a smaller group of businesses. Every American consumer will feel the effects of this rule and its price increases. Every agricultural producer and every local business will feel the effects. During a period of high inflation and supply chain disruptions, the last thing this country needs, it's more expensive freight costs and fewer truckers. My CRA will stop this Biden administration rule in its tracks before it has a chance to damage the livelihood of truckers and especially consumers across our country. I encourage my colleagues to join me in prioritizing the economic well-being of Americans over this politically charged and ineffective top-down regulation from the EPA. Thank you, Mr. President. I yield the floor. I would ask for the yeas and nays.